Han Solo's blaster sells for over $500,000 at auction. Han Solo's blaster from Star Wars, Return of the Jedi has gone for $550,000 at the Hollywood Legends auction in Las Vegas. It's thought that Ripley's Believe or Not are the people behind this rather extravagant purchase, and there's no news yet on what they plan to do with the prop. Probably freeze it in carbonite until Luke and CO come to save it from its icy prison. The Star Wars prop was the highest selling item at the auction and was part of James L. Shop's Return of the Jedi's art director collection. He also had an Imperial Scout Trooper blaster from the film which ended up going for $90,625. Other items on sale included a full Superman 3 costume, sold for an estimated $200,000, which was actually by the iconic Superman actor himself, Christopher Reeve, sorry, Henry Cavill, as well as a black wool dress, which went for $50,000 said to have been worn by none other than Marilyn Monroe. Over half a million dollars for a Star Wars prop is a lot, however, imagine how much Han's blaster from Star Wars, and New Hope would have fetched at auction. With such items entrenched in pop culture history, do we think it belongs in a museum? Anyway, it wouldn't have solved the years-long debate of who shot first. Was it Han or Greedo? The jury's still out on that one. Han shot first. No question about it.